Hey guys, welcome to another one. This one's uh, how to set up different types of baits for fishing. Um, it is another requested video, so what you can see in front of me is a bunch of smaller baits because I've already done videos on like bigger baits and live baits. And just different ways we're going to bait up a few, you know, a few small baits, your common small baits, small squid, prawns, bit of mullock up there, small fish, pil pilchards, beach worm. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, we'll just get into it. We'll just, we'll just start baiting up a few different ways, okay? And to start off, we'll start off very simple and very easy. This is a beach worm you buy from shops. It's cured. It looks a bit dry now. It's been sitting on the board for a little while. But it is actually a beach worm, all right? And generally, when you're using beach worms, we're chasing, yeah, mainly whiting. But flathead and brim and other species will eat it. So what we do is what we're use, usually using is a uh, long shank hook. Okay, so we'll start off with a simple one. We'll put on a beach worm. Just start in the center of the beach worm, okay? Just thread it down through, through the center of the beach worm until the entire hook's covered. That's really all it is, okay? Just keep threading it down through the beach worm. What I like to do is pull it up over the eye. That actually stops it sliding down. So we'll just go up over the eye there, okay? So it's up over the hook, the whole hook's covered. Um, and generally, I'm going to leave it as is. You'll have a bit more dangling as beach worms are quite long. But all we do is just like so. That's it. Whole hook's covered. Up to, up the line so it's over the eye. It'll stop it sliding down. Have a little bit, of, little bit dangling off the end. That's it. Okay. That's just an easy bait beach worm, and it does work very well for a lot of different species. Okay. So nice and simple one to start off with. Good old beach worm. I'll take that off because I'm probably going to need this hook again later. Okay, very simple. Next one we'll get into. We'll do like little bait fish. So if we're going to chase some bigger bream or flathead, things like that. What we've got here is a little white baits or white pillies. Okay. You can do, use these a few different ways. But what I'm going to do here is say we've got like a, a bait holder hook. Or even a little suicide work for this method bait holder there or a little suicide hook or octopus people call them nowadays quite simple look which way your offsets going some of these hooks are offset some aren't this one I've got here is not an offset but if it is offset make sure you you look at which way the offsets going I've done a video on that before now we're just going to make it simple I'm just going to pierce it just under the back through the center like so okay this is for the whole bait Okay, now with the line, just grab the line, just put, just make, make a loop, just twist it around once. Basically, you just twist it around its, oh, the line around itself twice, and I made a loop on the end. Put that loop over the tail. And it's probably a bit hard to see. Okay, just put that loop over the tail. Now with your tag end, or your leader end, that's your line, just start pulling that tight. The loop will pull down tight on itself, okay? And what it does is create a half hitch around the tail. And there you go. There's a nice straight bait and go throw in the water. How simple is that? That works well with whole baits. Or if you want to use like half a bait, um, smaller bait, just cut it in half and use what I said, an octopus hook or a suicide hook, a small one. Just put it through once, half hitch around the tail, rip it in half, have half a bait. Okay. Just a good way for a bait to sit in the water, chase a flathead, brim, that sort of thing. That sort of species, them sort of species. Okay, that's very easy. And like I said, if you want to just cut it in half, I don't cut baits generally, I'll rip, I prefer to rip baits like so. That looks more natural than being cut. Just do the same thing. Just put it once through the, okay, through the flesh with your line. Just make a loop, twist around once and then put it over the tail. I'll cut the leader here a bit short, a bit hard to work with. Okay, make a loop, put it over the tail. Once again, just pull it tight. It just creates a half hitch. I definitely made the lines too short. There we go, just a half hitch. There you go, that's all it is. Okay, very simple way. And that works very well for most of these small bait fish, like these little white baits, anchovies. What's that? That's like a little yakka. Look at that. 
Um, you can do it with pillies too. If you use like a bigger octopus hook, put it once through and a tail, uh, half you turn the tail, it works fine. Okay. And another thing to do with these baits too, uh, where's my trusty knife? Uh, I didn't get an octopus small enough, but the other way you can use these baits is just cut them into chunks like so. So just cut them into little chunks like so. With bait holder hooks, or your, once again, octopus hooks or cir circle hooks, no, not circle, octopus, suicide. Just put it through the bait once like so. Turn the bait around, pierce it through the back again. Just put a little, little clump on like so. That also works very well, especially for smaller fish are a bit finicky. Just put a small bait on like so, okay? Uh, um, all right. Sorry guys, bear with me. It's been a while since I put on small baits. I'm usually using live baits and or pilchards at the smallest. Okay, so that one's quite easy. Next one I'm gonna show you is um, with the white baits once again, where's my old trusty knife? What I'm gonna do is just take a little fillet off it. You can just take a little fillet. Okay, make sure you've got a good bait knife for this. Okay, just a nice little fillet like so. And if you've got these little miniature gang hooks, which are good for pike and all sorts of species, I've got a two hook one there. All I'm gonna do is just put that on a small gang and you can float it out put on a sinker, do whatever, also a good little bait. This is really good when you're chasing pike, things like this. See? Another way you can go about bait fishing. Small gangs, and just put a fillet on there. Or if you actually want to use a whole one of these white baits, or and once again to anchovies, or blue baits, or whatever, you just small fish baits like those, small, you can put a whole one on, using a three ganged. Okay? And how the three gangs work and hold bait fish is quite simple. I'm just going to lay the hooks on top like so. The top one here, I want to measure, line it up with the eye of the bait, so it looks like so. And then you get an idea where to put the back one. So the back one through, second one through. And now the top one's going to go through his eye there. And there you go. Another nice little bait. The three ganged in it. There's so many different ways you can bait up, eh? And that won't spin in the water or anything. Nice, easy. Little baits for flathead and salmon, uh, brim, tailor, and broadwaters. You know, you never know, all sorts of things. Okay. Ooh. We'll get them off. All right, and one more with the smaller hooks. I go back to the old bait holder, bait holder or long shank for this one. Once again, now we've got some prawns. Okay, this is going to be similar to the bait. So what we do, and partly similar to the worm. Okay, up near the tail there, just pierce the hook in. We put it in near the tail and then we just thread it down. Thread it on the hook like a worm. Okay, it's in there. Now we're just going to thread. Just pull it down, okay? Thread it on the hook so the hook comes out comes out like so. And that looks good there, but that will actually slide down a curl in the water. So what we do once again, is just put a, a loop in the end, slide it over the tail, another half inch. There you go. There's a prawn bait. You can use a prawn just like so. Or, what most of us do, is take the head off. And there's your prawn bait. Okay? Nice, quick, simple. Won't, shouldn't twist in the water. Just a nice, easy bait. So I just thread it down through, pull it out, and put a half hitch around the tail. Okay. Well, my line's getting a bit <laughs> of work there. And so that's the main way people do prawns. Another way to do a prawn it's just basically do it, you can bait out the same method, but peel it first. So I'm just gonna peel this one. You'll get a lot more bites on prawns if you peel it. So if you just peel it, you've got a nice little section like so. 
okay? That one's gonna be like put on a worm. Once again, on a bait holder or a long shank hook. Just go down through the sander. Put it on like the worm. Push the prawn over the top of the eye. There we go, you can just use a, like a bait like so as well. Over the top, over the eye there, yep. There you go, that's a pure prawn, that'll get lots of bites. And the hooks, you can see the hooks sticking out, so you shouldn't really miss too many bites like so. Another nice easy way to bait up. Okay, make a, get a, make a nice mess here. So that's the prawn. Um, what else we got there? Uh, screw it all, mullet gut. You got you can buy mullet gut and like chicken gut and stuff in shops too. It's fish guts and chicken guts. You can see how fairly strong and this is. This stuff also is a great bait. Everyone eats it. We use a long shank for this one. Okay, but this stuff to put on a hook can be a bit of a pain. So what we do is just I just get one end and just start twisting the hook around, bait around that hook. Just twist and put on, put through, twist and put through. Okay, twist and put through and just feed it up the hook. You can see it feeding up the hook there. Just keep going like so. And here's a nice little clump. You got the hook down, out there. Look at that. Nice smelly bait. She's a bit right. <laughs> okay, that's mullet cat. And this stuff's quite stringy, so it's quite hard to get off the hook and you'll get lots and lots of bites on that one. Chicken gut's the same, same sort of thing. Okay. I'll leave those ones alone for a little while. So guys, give your hands a bit of a wash. Cool. Yep, we're getting a bit ripe here now. <laughs> okay, so what else we got here? Here's a, a little octopus hook. Okay, octopus or what we used to call it, suicide. And with these we can use like a bottle squid or something on them, okay? Most guys will, a lot of guys will pierce it through once. It does work, especially if big fish are gonna come and nail, inhale it all. But I just like to go through a couple of times, like so. Maybe even three. You can do that to cover the hook. That works quite well. The only downside is the heads get used, usually get ripped off or picked off by the fish. So I actually just take the head off and put the head on over up there. And just give them like a little smorgasbord. board. Just a nice little easy bait. Okay, and the head will stay in there a bit more, stay in there a bit longer. Very quick, easy as well. Just thread it on, say, three times down the shank of the hook. Usually with a suicide. Oh. Damn, they're hard to get off. Hmm. That is very hard to get off. Okay. That would have been a good bait. <laughs> okay, so that's one thing with the squid. And I'll use this one again. All I'm going to do this one, usually if you get a bigger squid, like a nice squid, just cut them in half and put some fillets on, make some fillets out of these things. So cut them in half, you'll get a nice like flap like that and just do the same. Usually a bigger squid or on this sort of hook or a smaller hook for this, just cut them into strips like so and just feed the strips on, okay? Once again, you can put it over the, over the eye at the top, it's, it's, Stops the whole squid sliding down, like so. And just I think that was a smaller hook. It'd be a nice little strip pattern on a smaller hook. Okay. And all I done basically was cut the squid in half. There we go, just peeling the skin off there. Makes it look a bit better. That's how it'll look. But even on a smaller hook, that's a nice little strip bait. Okay. These don't have to look perfect. All they've got to do is not spin in the water. If they don't spin in the water, you're going to be okay. If they're spinning, try them again. Spinning baits don't work, guys. Okay. 
And like I said, I prefer, I prefer to rip the baits instead of cut them. Ripping looks a bit more natural, and we have tried this offshore. Fish, two of us, one with cut baits, one with rip baits just ripped. And the rip bait gets hit probably eight times out of ten. Okay? The cut baits don't get hit nowhere near as, as much. Okay, what else we got here? So, gang talks. Most people know how to put gang talks on, but I'll show you. Okay? So we're going down the beach chasing a few tail or you want a float line for snapper or something. Got your pelly. Okay. Got your set of gangs there. Three gangs. Like I did with the small ones, just measure it out. Like so. To the second eye. See that one? The eye, the eye of the hook's over the second second hook eye is over the eye of the fish. Should be able to see that. You can push down on the bottom hook and I'll leave a mark there. Okay, you'll know where to stick the first hook. So first hook in, second hook in, and then through the eye, third hook in. Like that. And whenever there's a scale on the hook, if every time you put a hook through a fish, if you see scales or something, take the scales off, because they'll stop you getting strikes, they'll stick to the point, and you won't set the hook. So always take the scales off the, if you see scales on your hook, take the scales off, guys. See? Nice and easy. Too simple. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, same as uh, like the white baits and stuff, what we're gonna do now is just do this on a bigger scale. Like cut it. What I'm gonna do is rip it. Okay, there's a nice little bait. If you wanna go float line for snapper or throw in a bigger bait out for a flathead. It's sort of like a medium shank or short shank hook. I'm going I usually use octopus style, or I'm probably that style, but bigger when I'm doing this. But let's use this hook. I'm just going to push it through once, okay, up near the top there, so the point's sticking out, okay. Now with the line, once again, go down, just twist it once, twice, okay, then put it over the top of the tail. And then you just you can pull your leader line, pull up tight. That just creates, a, like I said, half hitch. How's that for a simple bait? You can float line cast out. It's going to work a one, work wonders. You can do that again with a whole bait. Not a problem in the world. Whole bait, half a bait, whatever. That works good. The old uh, half hitch around the tail works wonders. Circle hooks, you're going to bait up pretty much the same way. They're just a little bit more awkward with the point sticking back in. They're pretty much what you're seeing be seen. Do the same with a circle hook if you want to use a circle hook, bait the same way. It's just like I said, the point pushing in, so it's a little bit more awkward to get the bait on, some of the baits on. But nothing really changes with a circle hook. And if you're baiting up live baits through the nose or like like you usually do with uh, octopus hooks, okay. Um what else are we gonna do here? Okay, well snelled hooks, I've you've seen me do this a lot, but I'll do one more. I'll get the big pillar here. So what I like to do with the pillies when I'm chasing snapper. Okay, so sort of measure it out. Give me yourself an idea when the hooks are gonna sit. I want the first hook to go just, be, just before the eye, as you can see there, up through the hard part. You can see where the second hook's gonna go. So, instead of going all the way through, you can go all the way through, make sure the offsets, so the back point's kicked out, not back in towards the fish. But what I prefer to do is just go under the skin Pull the hook out, just like so, lightly pierce them. See? Now with the front hook, I can just go up under the jaw, between the eyes, out between the eyes, that's the top of the head, the bony part of the head. What I've done there is I push that hook up, that hook's too far back. So we'll just take it out and do it again, like so. So there we go guys, here's a pilly for float lining. Top hook's between the eyes, out through the bony part of the head. Second hook's just pierced under the skin so it's sticking out, you shouldn't miss a strike. You can use a whole bait like that. But generally, once again, I like to rip, so I'm gonna rip the tail off that thing, like so. And there's a bait for float, for, pill, uh, for a snapper. I'd go float lining with that. Okay, easy. Nice easy baits. 
And two more baits I'm just gonna do quickly, guys. Um, I'll use that one, okay, for the thing. Okay, pilchard. These work really well for all sorts of species. Once again, when you fillet them. Fillet a pilly, oh, that nice little fillet. And we'll get back to the little, little tiny three gangs. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is just put the gangs on. A good fillet of pilly on the gangs. I'm doing them backwards here, but that's all right. You got the idea. The pilly's nice and soft so they can go through. So, how's that? They're probably one of the deadliest baits. You, you'll get so many bites from so many species just on a fill, fill, a filtered. That works an absolute treat, eh? Just on little gangs like so, or you can use like little um, snelled hooks. We get some small hooks and snell them and put a small one here and here, like your flat one for a snapper or something, small small set, small set of snailed hooks. But I just prefer the gangs, it's just easy, it works well. Okay. And the other bait you can use with the peelies, uh, I'll get that hook out before I wreck my knife. Just go through like so. It's just chunks, like so, once again, with a slightly bigger uh, suicide hook. So push it through once, go over the top of the backbone there, push it through again. Okay, just a nice, easy, basic little chunk. Good bait for all sorts. A nice little bait to float down through the water column, or even if you're in the shallows, I mean in the rivers, and you've got some trees down here, down current ivy or some pontoons, just throw a bait like that on, unweighted, flick it out, and just let it float down under the trees and stuff, and around the bridge pylons, and uh, the pontoons, old jetties, whatever. And it's a good way to find a few big brim, um, trevally, all sorts of things actually. Just chunks of pilchard, everyone eats them, and they're very, very oily. Oh, that's a good mess, eh? Oh, guys, um, I hope that gives you some idea on how to, uh, different ways to bait up. There's so many different ways you can do this. Once again, it doesn't really matter how you bait up. Match the size of your bait to your hook or the hook to the size of the bait, okay? Um, and put it in the water near you, and if it's spinning in a bit of car or spinning, it's no good. Take it out, put it on. It wants to sit in a, just wave in a in the current, okay? Just like wave a little bit, just, just so it looks more natural. If it's spinning doing this, it's not gonna work, guys. Even if it's spinning slowly, it's not gonna work. Pull it out, rebate it. So, so it's, it's either waving in the current or you're sitting there, you're float lining it out, feeding line and just letting it sink down naturally through the water column. That's very good, okay? Just make sure it's not spinning at all. Doesn't matter what bait it is for big fish, small fish, Big hook, small big, it doesn't matter. Spinning baits, bad. Wafting baits or just natural looking baits in the water, very good. Uh, ooh, this, I'm gonna need a big clean up here. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope this helps a bit. Um, if you like this video or like the videos on Shannon's Fishing, I'm gonna ask you please to hit the subscribe button as it really does help me out. And well, I'll see you again shortly with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.